you so much uh, and good morning. I'm Art Wallace. I'm a cardiac anesthesiologist, uh, the chief of anesthesia at the San Francisco VA and a professor of anesthesiology at uh, UCSF. And I'm also the founder and CEO of Adapir. Uh, Adapir has created a new platform for patient monitoring, which uses machine vision and artificial intelligence using no wires, tubes, cuffs, or electrodes on patients to monitor all patients in the hospital nursing homes, and in the elderly at home. Uh, Adapir is a Delaware uh, corporation privately held. Uh, we're located near San Francisco, and we're developing an artificial intelligent patient monitoring system, which gives constant bedside presence using machine vision and proprietary algorithms to monitor multiple parameters in patients continuously in the hospital. We can probably monitor up to 30 parameters, and we'll discuss that today. There's no physical contact with the patient. All sensors are done with machine vision. Uh, I'm Art Wallace. I'm a professor. I've developed multiple products over the years, including a cardiac output monitor. I worked on the off-pump cabbage. I developed perioperative beta blockade and a number of other products. Kai Cook is our uh, director of our advisory board. He is a professor at the University of Utah and was the head of research for Drager. And Mark Fine, has 30 years of development experience um, in medical devices. Um, what is our need? When I was a resident, I went to a code at 3 a.m. A 12-year-old girl had had some oral surgery and someone decided she'd be more comfortable if she spent the night in the hospital. At 2 a.m., a nurse entered the room, uh, gave her a shot of morphine, and at 3 a.m., she was found dead. Uh, this devastated everyone involved, the team, the family, everyone. And these events are sadly more common than we'd like. Uh, at the present time, about 1% of surgical patients die in the hospital, 2 to 3% of medical patients. And many of these are from unmonitored situations on the hospital ward. I much prefer to go to a rapid response rather than a code, and continuous monitoring allows that. The current situation, nurses are very busy. Uh, they're overworked. They typically check vital signs every four hours, sometimes longer intervals. Patients are not continuously monitored in more than half of the hospital. And sadly, 40% of hospital deaths occur in unmonitored wards, and 60% of these are thought to be preventable. What have we done? We've created a new platform for monitoring. This uses machine vision, a camera array with a red, green, blue, infrared, and depth camera. It can see through blankets and clothes, measure respiratory rate, heart rate, saturation. Uh, we may be able to do blood pressure, and we can also do pain and many other parameters. We've tested this in 200 patients in the hospital and 30-plus uh, patients in our volunteers um, to validate it. So we've done clinical testing on our device. Uh, what is the benefit of this system? First, it saves lives. It monitors every patient in the hospital, and it avoids the found dead in bed problem. It assists nurses with workload. It allows them to monitor every patient continuously without having to run in the room. Uh, this can be very, very helpful to nurses. It reduces hospital risk and because each death incurs litigation and other costs, and it saves money for the hospital. We're able to create a platform for monitoring with multiple parameters using machine vision. How do we make money? We're using a SaaS model, software as a service, and also software as a monitor. The hospitals will purchase the systems and then pay a monthly service fee. This allows them to have upgrades. We develop new parameters, and we can think we can develop about one parameter per year. We install the monitoring system, and we lay down the tracks. As people develop new machine vision algorithms, we're able to use these systems using our camera arrays in the operating room. And this can be used for fall detection, uh, administrative support, and other techniques. The proposed financing, we're issuing a convertible note. We're looking for a $3 million raise. It's a five-year term with a 6% yield and a 20% discount. And we can provide a complete set of investment documents if you're needed. Uh, we expect the market size for this product to be between 8 and $35 billion. Thank you so much for the opportunity to present.